How you doing, everybody? Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rao Bishay from Rao Bishay Photography, and this is Bishay Tech Tip of the Week. Uh, you can reach me at raouf at raoufbishay.com or raoufbishay at gmail.com. Um, I am a member of Bloomington Photo Club, one of the biggest uh, photo club in Indiana. And in my opinion, at least, it's one of the best. And if you'd like to see who we are, please uh, go to bloomingtonphotoclub.org and you can see some of our work in there. Uh, some of our members have their own galleries in there. You can browse through them and also you learn a little bit about us and see what we're doing. So uh, today, um, you know, without further ado, we're going to go to the new tech tip. All right. So um, how do we put a signature or uh, simply a name or a text to identify a photo that's our own. Uh, some people like to put their signature in the bottom or uh, put some text or whatever the case is that they may want to do this. And that's what we're going to work about today. All right. So first, how do we obtain, let's say, signature and get it to a Photoshop? Well, that's easy. You can get a piece of white paper and you can either sign um, or write your name, whatever you want to, but you want to sign your name and you sign it in with black ink, you know what I mean? Maybe even a thick uh, tip so you can see it. And once you do this, you either scan it as a JPEG and bring it into Photoshop or you do as I did. I just took a photo with my iPhone and then I transfer it through Dropbox to my Photoshop. So let's see what it looks like. All right. I open in here several files in my Photoshop, and this is the one signature that's my signature that I scanned. Okay, even though that this is it, I need to add to it some text. So I'm just gonna go to text in here, and I can add, I don't know, anything we want. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna add, um, um, let's say, Bichet Photography. For example, now once I added this, you can see that I can move it anywhere I want it, right? So I'm just gonna put it somewhere where I think it's suitable enough. And I'm gonna say that's good enough. All right, once I do this, I am gonna just uh, basically merge those layers together by going into layer, and I'm gonna say merge visible. Now I have just basically one picture. So the very first thing I need to do is I need to keep things in mind. This is black and white. So it's going to be black lettering uh, in, in the photo. But also sometimes I may want a white lettering in the photo because maybe the photo has a dark background. So we're going to do two things. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to save this photograph. So I'm going to say file, save as, and I'm going to uh, put it in my computer somewhere so I'm gonna have it already in here and I'm gonna say that this is the white dash W for example I just give it the letter and say save and say okay now that I did this I need to also have the same photo or the same um, signature but I want it to be white in a background in a black background well that's easy to do all you have to do is say image adjustment and invert and just with a click in the bottom now you have white lettering over a black background and once again I'm going to save this so I'm going to say uh, file and I'm going to say save as I'm going to save it in my computer and I'm going to save it as the same thing except maybe I would add B in the uh, so to just designate it as black um, background and say save and say okay all right so once I did this I opened in here a photograph that I have and I want to put my signature in it so I'm gonna take this particular signature for example I'm gonna drag it and while I'm holding the mouse left mouse button I'm gonna put it somewhere in the photo and then let go I'm gonna say okay and here is the photo now uh, the photo is too big so I'm gonna take command T so I can uh, command T in window or um, 
Command T in window or Control T in, I'm sorry, Command T in Mac or Control T in window in order for us to get the, um, the, the box where we can make it smaller or bigger. And then we just gonna make um, Command Zero it or, or Control Zero. Let us have all the picture together. I'm gonna resize this and I'm gonna move it to where I want it to be. Let's say put it up to here, for example. All right. Well, this is good, okay. Um, but the problem with that is, as you can see here, actually, let's let's put this up here for now. I need a blue background. But you see, again, uh, you can of course maneuver it to put it anywhere in the picture. Uh, but you know, it does not look very nice. A splash. It is a letter over black. And then you have the sky. Well, that's easy. You start working with blend mode. So you look at blend mode for the screen, for example, and voila, you have white over blue, for example. I can take it in here, put it in here. Well, no, in here it looks better. But, okay, what would happen? And I say, okay, in here, I want to open the other one that I saved, okay, to just see the difference. I'm gonna say open. Um, well, first of all, I wanna be in here somewhere in the background. Then I'm gonna do file, open, and let's open this one, which is a black over white lettering. And once more time, I'm gonna take it in, I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna go to the photo, I'm gonna put it somewhere, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna say okay in here. Now I have it. Uh, I'm gonna say Command T or Control T, Command Zero or Control Zero to make it fit in the screen. I'm gonna resize this to anywhere I want it. And this time I'm gonna put it right in the corner in here. And again, we're gonna go to the blend mode. And let's see what happens if I do screen. Well, that does not look very good. So when you go to the blend screen, you want to play with the blend screen to find out what is the best uh, way to do this. In this case, I think multiply would be the best. So I'm just going to put multiply, and now I have the black. So don't always stick with multiply. Don't always stick with screen. Screen uh, more likely will always work with white lettering over any background. And the multiply will work with black lettering over background, but don't take that as a rule. Uh, you may have to modify that. It depends on what you do. But that's 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 how, how you basically put your signature uh, in a top of a photo. And of course, you can save it after that. Okay, I'm gonna hide these two layers in here for a second, and go back again to my original. Uh, sometimes also you may just use a font. You can go like for example, I want to enter the computer. I search the web. And you found out you can uh, type fancy letter in here and you can save it as JPEG. And I just typed my name. So let's bring one of those pictures. I'm gonna say open. And I have this one right here, say open. And I can again bring this by dragging it. And while I'm holding the mouse button, I'm just gonna let go. I'm gonna say okay. Now I can put this wherever I want it to be. Now I can look at my, my so in this case, color burn looks good. Screen does not look very good. Multiply looks good and I'm gonna do it multiply. And again, you can make this in white and, um, and you do the same thing as we did before. But as you can see in here, there's a multiple ways that you can do this with and um, you can just save the photo and you have it in there. My suggestion though, if you are putting the photograph in some kind of contest, do not put your name in it. Usually that's not a very good thing to do or put your signature in it. But in the final production, if you wanna put your signature, your name in it, that would be fine. If you're gonna display this in the web and you want to have your signature in there, that would be fine also. And as you see, uh, this was very simple things to do, but if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask. And by the way, 
I have found out that people that they subscribe to my to my channel, they are not getting update. Well, I didn't know that actually, but I learned it. Um, uh, it was from a friend of mine, Tom Zuth, and he was able to tell me that when you subscribe, just right by the subscribe button, there is a little bell. And you click in the bell, and then from there, you can choose what kind of notification you want. I will put notification all. That way, any time uh, I get a new video, you get notified with the update. Thank you so much, and you take care, and I will see you in the next tech tip. Good night.